Look, now police speaking an arrest four months after a man was stabbed to death in a Miami apartment. Officers taking the victim's OnlyFans model girlfriend into custody, saying she's the one that killed him. Local 10's Rosh Lowe joins us live from Miami with the disturbing developing details. Rosh. This case will come down to one thing, and it will be fascinating to see this play out. Was this a case of self-defense or not? The video, say prosecutors, shows Courtney Clenny punching her boyfriend, Christian Obamselli, in a private elevator heading to their luxury apartment in Edgewater. Just over a month later, prosecutors say Clenny stabbed Obamselli to death. The knife entered Christian's chest in a downward angle to, to the depth of three inches. Clenny goes by the name Courtney Taylor on social media. She is an OnlyFans model who had millions of followers. The arrest warrant spells out a tumultuous relationship with domestic violence on both sides. Their building staff and security documented so many incidents of arguments that management was moving to evict them. On the day in question, April 3rd, prosecutors say Clenny called her mom, who was on the phone at the time of the incident, they say. In the call to 911, Obamselli can be heard saying he is dying and Clenny saying, I'm so sorry, baby. But it gives restored hope that even though delayed, justice will still come. Detectives spent months looking into whether or not this was a case of self-defense. Clenny said she was thrown to the ground. Cops say there was no physical evidence of this. Clenny also said she threw a knife at Obamselli from 10 feet, according to police. But the medical examiner's office said a knife thrown at this distance would not have caused the fatal wound. In the arrest warrant, Clenny tells police, quote, I do not think that this was, I don't know, I really don't know if this was justified at all. Clenny has been charged with second degree murder. It's important to point out, although we stress that video and the state stresses the video, they say that is only a piece of the overall puzzle here. And you heard me mention the other areas of their concern. As far as Clenny goes, she is still in Hawaii awaiting her first appearance in court. She is expected to waive extradition and will appear in court here in South Florida in the upcoming days. Of course, we'll follow this case for you. For now, we are live outside the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.